This is the Eastern and Oriental Express, a modern spin-off of a movie legend. Marlena Dietrich and Shanghai Express meet Pullman cars with a $16 million facelift. The Eastern Orient Express was founded in 1993, and everything about it is designed to say, special class. Inside, the Pullman cars have been exquisitely restored. Each compartment is appointed with plush fabrics, intricately patterned wood paneling, and decorative fixtures polished to a brilliant sheen. Mr. Awachiwin works as a cabin steward aboard the E&O Express. He knows what top-notch service entails. I maintain the passenger cabins. I deliver breakfast, make beds, and serve guests in their cabins. The most important thing is to satisfy our guests and make sure they're comfortable. For travelers who place a premium on creature comforts, this just might be the ideal way to travel. The perfect marriage of luxury and nostalgia. Good morning, gentlemen. So, right, let's start. For the E and O Railroad, maintaining this distinguished level of service is the job of train manager and public service director Wolf Buffard. It started off with a dream, with a film, as a matter of fact, because if you look around here at the train's interior design, it is very much based on the movie Shanghai Express, which is starring Malena Dietrich. The train started to operate about 10 years ago by our share owner, Mr. Jim Sherwood, who actually operates the train London to Venice. And based on this particular train and on the successful journeys between London and Venice, he then thought, well, it would be quite successful to run a train here in Asia between Bangkok and Singapore. And that's how he started the Eastern and Oriental Express. Generally speaking, it's once in a lifetime, and we do have actually quite a number of people who come here on honeymoon trip. Actually, the Eastern and Oriental Express runs more than a dozen itineraries over 1,300 miles of rail, from Bangkok's Farampong Station to Chiang Mai in the north, and south to Kuala Lumpur and Singapore, at the very tip of the Malay Peninsula. Fine dining is part of the allure, and the e and dining car never disappoints. Master chefs prepare an exciting range of nouveau Asian and European dishes. They start with all the finest ingredients and finish with a flair of culinary artistry. For the 132 passengers on board, what could be better than fine dining while the exotic Asian scenery rolls by? Three hours from Bangkok, the train arrives in the town of Kanchanaburi at the Kwai River Station. Today, the bridge over the River Kwai is one of Thailand's leading tourist attractions, made famous by the classic movie of the same name. The bridge is part of the 260-mile Thai-Burma Railway. Also known as the Death Railway, 
it was constructed by Allied prisoners of war captured by the Japanese during World War II. An estimated 96,000 prisoners and Asian laborers died under unbearable conditions during 16 months of construction. After touring Kanchanaburi, passengers reboard and continue their journey south through the heart of rural Thailand. Ten hours later, the train arrives at Hua Hin Station on Thailand's southern coast. Striking in design and rich in history, Hua Hin is one of the most beautiful train stations in Thailand. Since the early 1900s, Hua Hin Station has been a favorite stopover for Thai high society and traveling members of the royal family who have enjoyed the luxury of their own private waiting room. King Rama VII built his summer palace just north of here when this area was just a small fishing village. The royal endorsement helped establish the country's first major resort here at Hua Hin. Today, numerous resorts line Thailand's coasts along the Andaman Sea and the Gulf of Thailand. Although several coastal areas in the southern provinces were severely damaged by a tsunami in late 2004, other popular islands and beaches were left untouched. Recovery continues in many of these affected resorts while travelers discover alternate destinations.